Hey guys, the following is a clip from my interview with Metallica producer Fleming Rasmussen, the producer behind Ride the Lightning, Master of Puppets, and Injustice for All. If you want to see the full interview, it's linked below. One of the interesting things, in my opinion, about James Hetfield and Metallica's development is that at first James was hesitant about being a singer. He hated it. It was the painstaking moments when James had to go sing, he wouldn't do it. He just got more and more confident with, you know, I mean, once you start selling half a million album copies, you know, you kind of go, all right, then they they must like it somehow. So I think his confidence grew. And, and you know, I think he, the voice is an instrument as well, and he wanted to get better on that. Whether he took singing lessons, I have no idea. He, he never did when he was with me, when I recorded them. But... Um, for sure, he, his interest in what he could do with the vocal grew as the the band matured. And so in studio, how did he approach recording vocals on the three albums you did with the band? Was his approach different each time? It, yeah, it got more and more serious, uh, and he got better and better at it. Better at it. Um, we simply did, you know, uh, we did a couple of takes, run-throughs that I kept as much as possible. And then once his voice was like warmed up and ready, we did it line by line from start to finish. And then um, most of the time we doubled a lot of the bits to make it sound thicker. So he sang, his, sang it twice on top of each other, which, was, which is a skill and, and which he got better and better at. Because you need to know what you just did. Even when you do phrasing, you need to know what you did if you have to put one right on top of it. But sometimes you don't want it right on top because it sounds better when they, just, they, you know, shit like the studio stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, in another interview of yours, I remember you mentioning that during the Master of Puppets session for Sanitarium, particularly, James was reluctant to record vocals for one of the high parts of that song because he didn't want to go that high. Yeah. What was the story there exactly? Well, you know, it's it's difficult to sing high, especially if you're a man. I don't know whether we cheated by by speeding the tape down. I know that some of the songs on Master of Puppets, uh, we actually record uh, recorded them lower and then very speeded them up so that it got even tighter. That's one of the tricks you can use in the studio. But and, yeah, I can't remember that specific thing. It, it it was just hard for him to do that, and and of course, you know. If you can skip it, you want to do it. It's work. So, yeah. And how is he as a singer to work with? Is he easy to work with in studio? Oh, yeah, he's fabulous. James is the kind of person that once once he's in a working situation, he's totally focused. And he just wants to perform as, as well as possible. And he knows when he fucks up. I mean, you don't, if you sit doing a rhythm guitar tracks and he fucks up, he stops immediately, you just go back a bit, punch in and continue. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's, uh, he's a very skilled musician.